Have you ever had a great video you wanted to reuse but it's stuck with an old logo or a watermark you can't remove? You don't have the original files, just the final video and now your branding has changed completely. Well that's exactly what happened to one of my clients and in this video I'm going to show you the exact method I used to fix it using DaVinci Resolve. No reshooting, just clean smart removal that anyone can do. G'day friends, so the other day a client came to me with a bit of a problem. They had this video on their website, it was a few years old and it still had their old logo watermark on it. The thing is, they didn't have the original project files anymore, no raw footage, no timeline, just the final exported video. And the problem is now they've updated their branding and they wanted to replace the old watermark with the new logo, but without having to reshoot the whole thing again, which I think is totally understandable. So I showed them how to remove the watermark using DaVinci Resolve, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do the exact same thing. The bonus here is you can use this method to remove other objects from video as well. All right, go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve and load in your video. And the first thing you wanna do is head down to the color tab. That's where all the detailed visual editing tools live. And we're using this tab because it gives us the ability to isolate part of the video, track it and apply effects that can hide or remove visual elements like a watermark, for instance. Now once you're in the color tab, look to the right side of the screen and find the section labeled window. Click on the pen tool. It's the one that lets you create a custom shape and go to the viewer and draw a shape right around your watermark. This is called masking and you're basically telling DaVinci, hey, pay attention to this area only because I want to change something in this particular area. Make sure you're as accurate as you possibly can because the tighter your mask is around the watermark, the cleaner the results will end up being. Next up, we're going to track the movement of that watermark through the video. Even if your shot is a static shot, like on a tripod for instance, it's still a good idea to track it just in case there's a subtle camera movements or maybe the wind blew and your camera shook a little bit or something like that. So head over to the tracker tab right next to the window section and then drag your timeline playhead to the very beginning of your clip. Then just click the track forward button. And what this does is tell DaVinci to follow the mask throughout the entire clip, frame by frame. That way your mask stays perfectly aligned with the watermark as the video plays. Before we go any further into the following editing tips, I wanted to quickly mention something that could seriously level up your video and photography skills. I've created a set of cheat sheets that cover everything from landscape shots to long exposure to even car photography. And these cheat sheets aren't just your typical guides, they tell you exactly what settings to use and the best lenses for each type of shot. Think of it as your own personal photography toolkit. And although it's not free, it is only $5 and you'll get all that knowledge at your fingertips. It's everything I've learned from years of shooting condensed into simple, easy to follow guides. But hey, if that's not for you, I've also got a free ebook on the 10 common photography mistakes and how to fix them so you can keep improving your shots without spending a single penny. I'll put the links in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. Now let's get back to the editing. Now we're going to actually start removing the watermark. Go up to the effects panel, it's usually on the top right, and in that search bar type in object removal. When it shows up, drag that effect directly onto your current node in the node editor below. If you're not seeing any nodes, just hit Alt plus S to add one. What this effect does is it uses surrounding pixels in the frame to intelligently remove objects, kind of like uh, Photoshop's content aware fill, but for video. It's super useful. All right, now the object removal effect is selected. Scroll down to the settings and click on scene analysis. This tells DaVinci to analyze the area around the watermark and try to figure out what the video should look like if the watermark wasn't there. It's essentially training itself to reconstruct the background as naturally as possible. Once that's done, the masked area will probably turn a gray color, which is completely normal. It means DaVinci is waiting for you to generate the final cleanup. So just scroll a little bit further down and click build clean plate. That's the part where DaVinci actually replaces the watermarked area with the pixels it thinks should be there based on what's around it. And just like that, the watermark disappears replaced with natural looking video. It's not perfect in every case, especially if the watermark overlaps moving subjects or the background is full of high detail objects like in this video here where there is a trolley in the shot that shouldn't be there. And when I apply this effect, the results were less than perfect, but for static shots or shots where there are clean backgrounds, it works really well. Now you know how to remove objects, but do you know how to remove the background in your videos? Well, never fear because I also have a video on that right here that does just that. See you later. 